Okay, Afro Jamaican, can you hear us? Do not discount the housing project. In Jamaica, we have the National Housing Trust. Okay, okay. It is it is a, and a tremendous success in Jamaica. Okay. Many Jamaicans own homes because of this. It is operated separately from the government. Mm -hmm. The monies go separately to this government organization. Okay. The money cannot be used for the general budget. Who pays this money? Where does it come from? It comes from the taxes. Everybody pays housing trust in Jamaica, whether you're going to buy a house or not. So, so is it a tax, you know, like on employed people? What kind of tax is it? It's a tax on employed people. It comes off your paycheck. So it's a specific and one that's dedicated for housing. That is correct. And let's say I'm rich and I have my house and I don't want to use my points. Mm -hmm. I can give my points to my children so they can get a house. They can use their points and my points to get a house. So, so when you say points, you, you are you saying that every eligible adult has some sort of uh, lifetime credits f uh, to get this uh, shelter? That is correct. You can get a house built by the government or you can get a loan at 0% or maybe 1% to buy a house from the housing trust. It is a government agency, but it is operated separate from the government. Hmm. Now, How long has it been in operation? I am, what, 50? Hmm. I'm born and it was already there. Okay. So, so for Jamaican, here's an interesting thing. I think we need to learn more about that Jamaican model. I'm going to go start do some reading about it. The issue with Kenya is Corruption. mistrust. Corruption. Not mistrust just based on dislike, <laughs> but mistrust based on experience of previous funds. The women on fund. the ground. I, the youth fund. Listen, yeah. I understand that. Yeah. I understand that. And it, it, it really upsets me when I hear Kenyans talk down about Kenyans that way. Because every country has corruption. I, I at some point mm -hmm. at some point we've had we have to believe in our institutions. And if we hire the right people to run these institutions, I think it will be successful. I, I totally agree with you, um, Afro-Jamaican. I, I agree with you, but where we are now, and, and, and unfortunate, it's so hard for us to undo our that mentality, and we are working on ourselves, and we are outside. I can only imagine those who are inside who uh, have yeah. to pay it. But yes. I think maybe even when, uh, what was it, NSSF and NHIF, yes. when that started, mm -hmm. I'm sure the skepticism was the same. Was there? And, uh, and we have seen... NHIF work. Not perfect, but but it's working we to a certain extent. Yeah. NSSF, we have also seen it but, work, even though... Yeah, but I think yeah. also, Afro-Jamaican, you need to, uh, you know, like, understand from... You, you need to also empathize with a person who's earning uh, maybe 50,000 shillings a month, can barely make ends meet, 50, uh, 50. and uh, and they're now being asked to pay, you know, like, this amount that's going to take a good chunk of their income. So I think well, we also we also need to empathize with those people. It should be a graduated people. tax. It, sh it should be a graduated tax because everybody in Jamaica pays it. Whether you make one thousand dollar Jamaican a week or a hundred thousand, and and the thing is it, th that program is so successful that that Jamaican diasporans abroad even will volunteer to pay that fee. What? They volunteer and they pay it even though they're not living in Jamaica. Because okay. they want the opportunity to buy a house back home. Oh, smart. okay. All right. Okay, I get okay. what it is. So does Jamaica have dual citizenship? Yes, they do. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so yes. So, Afro Jamaican, we're gonna give you a Friday. You have this earned, guy. You have under Friday. Yeah, he has earned like six spots. Yes. You have under Friday. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We 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 need to have a conversation, and I like when you slow us down. You know, we try our best to to do all the positive talk about Kenya and it's been a while it's been a while since uh we got into into ranting about Kenya once in a while uh we're gonna do that but of course you know like for the most part we try to bring out positive stories about Kenya about Kenyans and about how we are growing 
and about how we are building ourselves to get to where we want so that we have more Afro Jamaicans, you know, lining up to come to Kenya to, to grow the economy. So thank you so much, Afro Jamaican.